Everyone, even well-known pop singers, need friends. Selena Gomez maintains close ties with a small group of close friends. The Lose You to Love Me singer undoubtedly has a few well-known acquaintances, like Julia Michaels and Taylor Swift. However, it appears that Gomez's less famous friends that are part of her daily life are the ones her fans most look up to, and she hopes that they set a positive example for her admirers. So stay tuned to find out Selena's close friend circle. First up, Selena Gomez has a lot of very close friends, so we thought we would take a look at her inner circle. Now, Selena Gomez is surrounded by well-known people in a close-knit inner circle. It's no longer a surprise that Taylor Swift is one of her closest friends. The singers have shared significant highs and lows throughout each other's careers while posing together on red carpets. We dated the Jonas Brothers together in real life, Selena recalled when explaining her friendship with Taylor. She continued stating she was a girl with long, wavy hair, numerous bangles, and cowboy boots. I thought it was fantastic, and I was clearly on the rise, and we connected right away. And after that, they were joined at the hip. Now, sometime later in 2019, on the Tata 2 video podcast, Giving Back Generation, she explained that she wants there to be more friendships like this, stating, I believe there should be since I attended school for a little period of time before being homeschooled when I was a child. She then said, I would have been destroyed if my cousin hadn't been the cheerleading team leader. At least when I do meet and greets or talk to people, always ask about friendships because I was just sort of a nerd and only hung around with one person. The Wizards of Waverly Place star claimed that her followers frequently confide in her during such vulnerable times. She said at the time, they'll always remark, I don't have a lot of friends, and they don't feel comfortable talking to people because they're worried they'll get burned. Gomez hopes that her being so open about her friendships will help her fans find good friends and relationships. Now, most Selena fans will know that Ashley Cook, Raquel Stevens, and Courtney Lopez are part of Selena's core group. They all even have matching tattoos of the number four on their bodies. These aren't the only close pals Selena has either. First of all, fans can't get enough of Julia Michaels, another close friend. Along with writing Gomez's singles like Bad Liar and Hands to Myself, the songwriter also has matching arrow tattoos with the singer. And of course, we all know she's besties with Taylor Swift. Simply iconic. Now, we love seeing Selena be so genuine in showing her friendships and how important these kind of connections are. Love to see it. Speaking of Gomez, a little less than a month ago, Selena celebrated her 30th birthday. Let's take a look. Selena Gomez had a birthday party with pals, including her longtime close friend Taylor Swift about a month ago, to celebrate turning 30 away from social media. Days after the celebrations, though, Gomez appeared on Instagram to provide the first detailed glimpse at her life in her 30s, and how she marked the beginning of the decade. Gomez also posted pictures of herself at her party wearing a breathtaking sheer off-the-shoulder Versace dress, with a note complimenting her makeup artist. Additionally, Gomez's deep chocolate hair was pushed back from her face for a smooth, refined look, and was worn high at the crown with adorable flipped-out ends to give the traditional high ponytail a quirky, contemporary twist. To hide any hair knots and maintain the pony, looking shiny and fluid, while Gomez moved around the party. Gomez's hairstylist, Marissa Marino, wrapped a section of her hair, or possibly a hair extension around the base, a classic Selena Gomez look if there ever was one. Makeup artist Hung Vongo aimed for an equally modern makeup moment with airbrushed skin, thick lashes, cat eyeliner, and a mauve brown lip. At her 30th birthday, one of the friends invited was Taylor Swift, one of her closest as friends. On her 30th birthday, Gomez posted Instagram pictures of herself and Swift having fun in the sun. They are seated together at a table in the first photo, with Gomez wrapping her arms across her friend's shoulders. Swift then appears to be taking a selfie in the second image, while Gomez grins joyously and she gives the thumbs up. The images were labeled by Gomez as 30, nerdy, and worthy. Now, we thought this was the perfect moment to take a look at some of the best celeb friendships that you probably never knew existed. Celebrities are very much aware of the value of having inside connections in Hollywood. These pals can protect each other from gossip publications, help each other get parts, and even fluff each other's clothes on the red carpet. There are several friendships that you probably didn't know about, including the long-lasting friendship between Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, and the bound between Friends co-star Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox. Here are some famous couples that you probably didn't know were close. First up, Guy Fieri and Matthew McConaughey. When renowned chef Guy Fieri received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, McConaughey spoke at the ceremony. The Food Network television program Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives caught the attention of the Oscar-winning actor roughly 15 years ago. When he first watched it, the rest is history. He later got in touch with Fieri to ask for a restaurant recommendation. The two men are now very close friends and share a passion for genuine living. Next up, Jennifer Lawrence and Emma Stone. Actresses Jennifer Lawrence and Emma Stone have been close friends for a very long time, ever since their co-star Woody Harrelson introduced them. In 2016, Stone told Vanity Fair, we both genuinely do love each other and care about each other as humans, beyond being actors. I believe we'd be friends even if we didn't share the same profession. I absolutely support her when it comes to work, and I feel the same from her. Since then, they have conducted two interviews with one another, one for W Magazine, and once more in August 2018 when Stone asked Lawrence to conduct her cover interview with Elle. Another iconic Hollywood real friendship includes Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore. Remember Charlie's Angels? Well, their bond goes back further than their breakout performances in the popular film series. Over coffee, they actually grew closer. Cameron Diaz was a regular customer while Drew Barrymore was a barista back then. In a statement to online sources back in July of 2018, Barrymore said, We were like more than best friends. She's my sister. We spent most of our lives together, actually experiencing what real life is like, a daily high and low. And we all 
always have each other's backs. Next up, Jennifer Aniston and Paul Rudd. When they acted together in the 1998 film The Objection of My Affection, Aniston and Rudd initially became acquainted. They stayed good friends and collaborated once more after Rudd joined the set of Friends in 2002 as extra Mike Hannigan. In the 2012 film Wonderlust, which also starred Aniston's ex-husband Justin Thoreau, the old friends once again played a pair. I cherish him, a great friend of mine. Now, this one may surprise you, but apparently Serena Williams and Meghan Markle are good friends. Serena Williams and Oprah were among the well-known faces invited to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's fairy tale wedding. The Duchess of Sussex and Williams, it seems, became friends after the two were initially introduced in 2010 at a Super Bowl party. Here they are in 2014 participating in the DirecTV Celebrity Beach Bowl while playing flag football together. Jennifer Aniston and Chelsea Handler are also great friends. Handler and Aniston go way, way back. Handler claims that their friendship simply occurred and ever since, she has gained notoriety for standing up for her BFF. She referred to Angelina Jolie as a lunatic and she made it clear that Aniston didn't give a damn about their split. Nevertheless, Handler has playfully remarked that having a closest friend who is so well known isn't as enjoyable as one might imagine because she has frequently questioned about Aniston's personal life. And finally, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. When the two of them appeared in a TV show audition for the same part in 1990, their intriguing friendship was born. According to reports, they made a deal to support one another professionally whenever feasible, and so far, the relationship has held. In the famed The Great Gatsby in 2013, the two finally appear together. Between those crucial occasions, photographers have captured the couple cheering for teams at basketball games, going snorkeling together while on vacation, and sharing a seat at events. Their bond has endured the test of time, which is even more astonishing in Hollywood. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Selena Gomez and her inner circle of very close friends. Now, make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Which celeb friendship surprised you the most? Do you keep up with Selena Gomez online? Did you forget any iconic Hollywood friendships? But as always, thanks for watching.